Good evening. Uh, can I thank you for your attendance? Uh, can I, are you all now, I'm sure, Detective uh, Commissioner Ross, uh, Deputy Commissioner uh, Ross Barnett, uh, who has led uh, this investigation for some time. Uh, Deputy Commissioner Barnett will uh, uh, make a statement and then I will add to that uh, and then we'll conclude. Can I let you know at the outset though that regrettably we're not going to be able to answer questions but we do hope that in the information we provide you that that will be more than sufficient uh, this evening. Uh, Ross. Thank you Commissioner. We wish to advise that a short time ago a 41 year old man was charged with a number of offences relating to the disappearance of Daniel Morecambe at Wombai on the 7th of December 2003. The charges preferred are murder, deprivation of liberty, child stealing, indecent treatment of a child under 16 and interfering with a corpse. The man will remain in custody and appear in the Brisbane Magistrates Court on Monday. This is obviously a very significant milestone in what has been a complex and protracted investigation. However, as the matter is now before the court, it would be inappropriate to, to discuss any aspect of the circumstances of the investigation and the arrest and the investigation leading to it. Today's arrest is underpinned by the dedication, tenacity and professionalism of every officer who has worked relentlessly on this investigation for nearly eight years. We have repeatedly affirmed our commitment to solving this disappearance and have never wavered in that resolve. Commissioner. Yeah, thanks, Deputy. I'd just like to add to that by thanking and mentioning a number of people. Uh, firstly, and most importantly, on behalf of the entire Queensland Police Service, we extend our thanks and appreciation to Bruce and Denise and the entire Morecambe family for their courage, their patience and their resolve over the last uh, eight-year period. We, we also want to thank uh, all of their supporters, it's the supporters of the Morecambe family uh, and the volunteers and particularly those who established and maintain the Daniel Morecambe Foundation. We want to thank, of course, the public, and in particular the public of the, uh, the community of the Sunshine Coast, for their outstanding support for us throughout this investigation, and in particular in regards to that, the regular and constant flow of information that they provided to us. We want to thank the media for their ongoing support and contribution to keeping this in the public eye, which has been enormously important throughout. We want to thank Crime Stoppers and other similar community organisations for their assistance and support throughout. We also want to thank all of the police agencies uh, across Australia and overseas who provided assistance to us uh, in what is without question the largest missing person investigation in the history of the Queensland Police Service. And finally but uh, by no means of least importance, of course. Uh, I want to thank all of the detectives and all of the members of the Queensland Police Service who've worked with commitment, determination and continuous resolve in the investigation of this matter. Despite this breakthrough today, a significant, significant amount of work remains to be done, and that includes the search of an area of bushland on the Sunshine Coast. And again, as Deputy Commissioner Barnett mentioned, because this matter is now in the criminal justice system and before the courts, it's not appropriate that at this time we discuss it any further and regrettably neither is it appropriate for, take any, for us to take any questions. But I thank you again for your support and I thank you for being here this evening. Uh, yes. Um, uh, Assistant Commissioner uh, Mike Conlon, who's in charge of State Crime Operations Command, has met with the Morecams, and I have uh, talked with Bruce and Denise as well. Um, uh, at this point in time, though, it's not appropriate, I think, to go beyond that. Thank you.